Hey strangers, I am back for another wig review today. This one is Straight Up With A Twist by Raquel Welch in shaded hazelnut. And I bought this wig from Wig Outlet. Um, I've talked about that in some of my other videos. Really great deals on wigs. You get them at, you know, a, a pretty large percentage off. I wanna say that I got this one for somewhere around 40 or 50% off of what it, you would get it at full retail. Okay, so straight up with a twist. And I had it kind of, let me see if I can get it to do it again. Yeah, I had it kind of in this little, um, I don't know, kind of like a little hippie chick school girl look earlier and I really like it. You can flare out the sides. I don't know how well you can see it. I've got my monitors turned on so that this wig doesn't just blend into the monitors behind me. Um, but look at how cute it is. You can wear it out like this and I can give it a totally different style in other ways. And I'm going to show you that in this video. There's going to be a lot of little styling things in this video. So this is a pretty popular wig. You can find a ton of videos that are going to show you the inside of this cap. I think it's open wefted and it's um, got a full mono top. It's got the heat friendly fibers on it. And normally, you know, that could be a little bit of a problem. I do have to constantly like finger comb out my editor's pick, which has the heat friendly fibers. But on this one, it's so short, y'all. I don't think that you're going to have to do anything with it. One thing I do is I make sure that I've kind of combed down on it in the back before I leave the house because a lot of times when I'm styling, it gets like kind of, I don't know, um, crisscrossed and kind of maybe tangled up a little bit back there. But if you finger comb through it, it usually just comes right out. Uh, another thing that I did to kind of tame the little flyways that I had on the wig was I, um, I sprayed some of that John Renault Easy Hair uh, conditioning spray for synthetic fibers. And it works really great. You probably just want to spray just a tad on it. Um, just kind of spray it and maybe move your wig into it and then kind of run your fingers through it. Um, I, I really like this one. I like the length and I like the versatility of it. I like the full mono top. It's really comfortable. Look at the lace, guys. Look at that lace front. Isn't that pretty? So I love how with the Raquel Welch lace fronts, you can pull it back because nobody's gonna notice that you're wearing a wig if you've got this wonderful lace front. And I gotta say, I really love these Raquel Welch lace fronts. The lighter fibers are usually up front, the little lighter hairs right there. And that makes it blend a little easier. Plus it, it's lighter up front in density and then it gets, um, it fills in in the back. And that makes it look a lot more natural. So these are bobby pins. And I've just kind of clipped it back. But if I take them out, I'm going to show you just what it kind of looks like when you get it. And when I got it out of the box, I ran my finger through it to remove the little crisscross pattern that was in it. And I, um, I shook it. You know, after I made sure there were no holes or anything, I could just, I wasn't going to send it back. So this is kind of what it looks like just normally. Isn't it really cute? I love it. I love it. It's a real easy, simple style. It can be professional. Uh, like I just showed you, you can pin it back and it can be kind of youthful and fun. Um, but let me just kind of do some turning for you to try to let you see First of all, I'm going to show you the lace front like this. And I've got a little bit of root cover on my hair, but it's kind of coming off over here. You can kind of see my gray area. But you can see how well it blends. It's so pretty. And that 
monofilament top. I've got it parted a little left of center. Okay, this is the right side. The left side. And let me show you the back. It's really kind of thick though. There's quite a bit of hair on here. So I don't worry about wearing it out in the wind. I don't worry that anybody's going to be able to see the wefts under there. It's such a dark color and the cap itself is kind of um, the same color. So I don't worry about those showing. It is parted kind of left of center now, but I can just as easily, because it is a full mono top, kind of move that to the other side. And kind of, I can do it like this, kind of back and off the face, a little big. I can kind of make it hug down. I can get it behind my ears, which makes this wig like ideal for the office. Because if you're like me, you end up on a lot of phone conferences during the day and you've got to put those headphones on. Um, oh gosh, my camera does this every stinking video. It does this thing where it loses focus. Sorry guys, I probably look better blurry, but I want y'all to be able to see the hairs. So you can see how well it blends in. I've got leave out here and the tabs are just behind my leave out. I like to kind of put just some of it back. and then just kind of have some out. And that way it still looks kind of full, but it's really off your face. Another great way to have it at the office. I like that you can kind of make it flip out. And if you use some contour cream, you could really kind of get it to do whatever you want. It's kind of like a little like flirt alert in it, guys. So I think flirt alert's a little longer. But it's so great. It's just a great kind of everyday style. And I think it would make a really fantastic everyday wig. I'm going to show you... Um, some other little styles like these little clips right here are claw clips. Arr. So a hairstyle I really like is um, pulling these, pulling my hair back into little claw clips. Um, and I've even worn it out like to fancy gatherings like this. So, put one right there. And you wanna make sure with a wig that you're really not, you know, exposing anything. Um, and I know, um, I think Taz on some of her videos, she has a little flat five claw method, that she, or four, three claw method that she likes to do. Um, a five is my magic number. I like five. And I incorporate my leave out into my style. You'll see. And then I'm going to do this one here. And 
it again. I can't really see this in my camera, but if I were in front of a mirror and I were going to go out like this, I would really check to make sure that I have not exposed wefts before I leave the house. Get your mirror out, hold it from different angles. Make sure you've got everything kind of covered. You can also, because these uh, are those heat friendly fibers, you can really achieve some great lift with these and your hair will kind of stay in a style. So here's this one, guys. Ah, I got like Triceratops head right here because I didn't really get this thing. <laughs> I got a big bump. Okay, there we go on that one. All right. I may look at this when I'm editing this video and go, oh my gosh, it's so bad in the back. But see, that's a pretty quick and easy style. And it actually looks like you um, are dressed up a little, you know, kind of. Kind of looks formal, even. I think I wore clips like that, like little butterfly, jeweled butterfly clips like in that style to my brother's wedding with my natural hair. Um, I also have these little butterfly. There, hold on. There, maybe. Butterfly claw clips. These are claw clips as well. And I've got like five of those. And I do the same kind of style with those. Um, with them that small, sometimes I'll even put as many as seven in there, and it just looks a little more dramatic with seven, maybe a little bit more formal. Um, another thing I kind of like to do is I like to part it a little more to the side, and then like leave this side kind of down, and then... You know, guys, I've got this um, fascination with little baby hair clips like these. They're made for infants and they're completely wrapped. And I think that makes them kind of perfect for wigs. And the reason I think that is because they're coated, so they're not going to damage your fibers. And it's cute. It's a way to keep it back off your face, although I did a poor job of pulling the hair back. And really guys, with this lace front right here, take advantage of that because not all wigs have that. And when you are wearing one that does have it, get it off your face, show off that lace front. Um, I think there's a delivery guy outside. He didn't ring the doorbell. Thank you, Mr. Delivery Man, for not ringing the doorbell while you were delivering my package. So, again, you know, infant clips are really awesome for wigs because they kind of, they're not hard on the, um, on the fibers. They're made for sensitive little baby heads. So I kind of think it makes them perfect. Now this is not going to be for everyone. Some of you out there are probably like, I would never wear those little bows in my hair. 
that some of you are watching and going, it's cute, I'd wear that. Um, and especially like moms, when you're like having a, a mommy daughter day or something, you wear like little clips like these. These also are like little infant clips and they're also for girls. And I've got this color kind of in my shirt today. So I'm gonna get a real thin little layer up front just enough that there's no hair like in my face at all. So these little hairs right here are the biggest offenders. Get all of those, kind of give it a twist. And clip it in. I'd probably go the other way though, since I twisted that way. I'd put the little alligator part over here. Rip it in. And it's cute. It looks really cute, I think. I don't know. A little upset. It's hard to tell when you're not in front of a mirror. You can use it in a lot of different ways, though. I don't know. It feels like you guys are just in my bathroom watching me get ready. And I'm one of those people that talks through everything. Full disclosure, guys, I do actually talk to myself in the mornings while I'm getting ready sometimes. More since I've been making these videos because I kind of feel like maybe I'm rehearsing for them. For how I'm going to review a wig when I'm putting it on in the mornings. And see, it kind of goes with my little... Save the Rhinos t-shirt. Now those are some, um, some little cutesy ways to do it, but then there are like, even that takes a little bit of effort and maybe you don't want to put forth that much effort. Maybe you just want to do something real simple like a headband. Now, a lot of um, women out there really love those square headbands, and I'll, I'll say that I haven't tried them. Um, they look awesome, but I have not tried them yet. I can tell if that's actually this wig or my leave out right there. Those square headbands might be a little bit easier to maneuver with wigs. But I like having, you know, these options. And as I mentioned before, with these wonderful lace fronts, you can pull this stuff back and just really show off your hair. Show off that wonderful lace front that you're paying for. This is some of my leave out here. So you can do this and leave, you know, like some people like to leave a whole section out. You can put the whole thing back to on a wig like this. I'm going to actually put everything back. Sabrina-like. You guys watch Sabrina? The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina? I watched The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on uh, Netflix. That's my Echo Dot telling me I have a package. He may not have rang the doorbell, but he logged it, and so my Dot makes sure that I know it's out there. So isn't that cute? This is one of those times where I've been messing it that I'd probably use a mirror to check the back just to make sure that I haven't like really messed it up back there before I left the house. And this is a big two inch thick headband and it's satin. I do have a smaller headband 
And on that one, what I kind of want to do is I want to say, pull quite a bit back, but I want to leave just a touch out in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push all this back, get my headband. This is one of those times where I might, you know, take one of these, one of these uh, John Renault combs and kind of just to make sure that I have it like in the back really left something kind of exposed and yucky. This has given me a um, Samantha from Bewitched vibe. Durwood, take me out of town. She called him Darren, I guess. And Dora called him Durwood. But I like this cute little retro look. Okay, did I set anything else aside to kind of show you guys? And it takes minimum fuss when, you know, between styles like if you decide nah, I don't want this beretta anymore it takes minimum fuss to get this thing looking cute again oh <sighs> all right that's all my hairstyling stuff that I was going to show you for this video but let's take a look at the color isn't that pretty it's got like a, I think it's an eight, that's the root. And then that's kind of the base color, I think, and it's got this nice hazelnut color. So the color is RL829SS. It comes in the Raquel Welch box, Sheer Indulgence, and it comes, you know, in a net and pinned in there. Um, my Raquel Welch wigs usually come with one of these little thank you cards. And if it's wig outlets, I usually get one of these, letting me know they inspected it. They inspected it, it was Lizzie. And um, Wig Outlet sells open box wigs, guys. So it's usually because um, they've been opened for review or they've been tried on. Maybe someone tried them on, didn't like it, and sent it back. But I've not gotten a bad one yet. No complaints. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And let me know what you think about the styling tips. Do you guys still want to see like a lot of that? Because if you do, you know, I'll, I'll incorporate that into my videos. Because, you know, there aren't a ton of videos out there that kind of help you with styling these wigs. There's a lot that tell you a lot about them. Like you can find the uh, cap construction for this wig on a number of videos out there. There are lots of color spotlights. Um, I don't know if I've seen a review for this wig in this color. So it's kind of why I'm, I'm doing it. I love brunettes, but a lot of the wig reviewers are really um, into blondes or reds. And this one's kind of a red, but it's got some red in it, but it's a brunette. Now, Shannon from Canada Wigs, she does some brunettes. And Heather from Sister Wigs, she does some brunettes. And thank you, ladies, for doing those. Because without you, I might be a little bit lost. Um, this shade is actually reviewed by um, Prairie Girl. Oh, I cannot remember the whole thing. But um, she's, 
she's really um, bubbly and outgoing and she she had an editor's pick in this color and I think an upstage in this color so I got to see what my editor's pick was going to look like before I took the plunge and bought it. So this has been my review for Straight Up With Twist by Raquel Welch in Shaded Hazelnut. I got it from Wig Outlet. Thank you for watching.